Hey guys, how's it going, Electron Man? Well, we're going to do a little instructional how to video today on how to restore a Surface Pro 3 that has lost the password and the valid email account on it was a corporate account that is no longer valid. So there's no way that you can, because basically, you know, leave it to Windows to make this super complicated to try and get it back to just a factory image with no passwords, just, you know, like you bought it new. It's a total pain in the tail. I'll just start you right there. But we're going to go through the whole process. It uh, took me a little while and a little research to get here. So hopefully you appreciate the footwork I did on this. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start her up. Okay, so you're going to end up on a screen like this. You know, and it's going to want you to sign in. Well, you don't know the password. So what are you going to do? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to click right here. And we're going to do an on-screen keyboard, right? And then we're going to do a shift lock here. And then we're going to click down here. And we're going to say restart. And what this is going to do is this is going to start the restores process. So we're going to hit restart. Then you're going to come up with these different uh, tools. You're going to have troubleshoot, use device, continue, turn your PC off. Uh, well, we're going to go to troubleshoot. And then we're going to go to where it says reset your PC. If Let's see, I'm reading upside down. If you want to remove all your files, you can reset your PC completely. This is what you want to do. Well, this, you know, normally on a Android, a lot of things, you click that, and then it says, are you sure you want to delete everything? Sure, you're funky door, you're happy to go and everything. Well, in this particular one, you click it. What it's going to do. Give it a second here. What it's going to do is it's going to, when we get there, it's going to ask you to put your images. See, it says insert your Windows installation or recovery media. Well, you don't have your installation. The thing's six, seven years old. You're going to have that? No. So what do you do here? Well, this is where it turns into a lot of footwork. And um, I'm going to switch over to the computer to show you where you go from here to uh, get. Basically, there is a Microsoft Surface recovery site on Windows on Microsoft. And you can go down to the image. Well, there's a little bit more to that, too. First, got to find out what you got here. Well, at least in this one, there's not like any identifier on, on the whole silly Surface thing that says model number so-and-so. All it says on it is it says on the back here, it'll say you got to open this little back. Yeah, let me just go ahead and flip her over here. You got to open this little back bill here. If you notice right here, it's got Windows and then it says Surface and then it's got like a 15 digit number. Well, you got to take that 15 digit number and that, that actually transposes to the model number, which I know now because I've already done this footwork. This is actually a Microsoft Surface Pro 3. And then uh, it's a 128 gigabyte one. So now that we know what the model is, then we're going to go ahead and get on the PC and we're going to create the image. And uh, once we create the image, good thing is it comes in a zip file. And uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to find you a, uh, you need about a eight ter or eight gigabyte USB stick. You're going to need an eight gigabyte minimum USB stick. And then you're, you're going to unzip the files first on your PC that you downloaded it on and then you're just going to copy that whole directory to the root of your USB drive which I'll go ahead and show you on the PC too to make it a little less complicated to show you what you what you end up and how you do it but uh and then uh, we'll come back and we'll show you a, a finished product okay guys now this is what you want to do you want to get out to the support site on microsoft.com and you're going to have surface support and uh and I'm going to provide a link down below, but uh, it'll say Surface image, down, image Download. And in here, you go down here, you're going to have to select your Surface product. That's why I had to do that search on it. And I know now i got a Surface Go 3, and it's going to tell you, you know, where your serial number is, which I could just pull that back up. I, I hide that, and then, uh, then you're going to hit Continue, and then it's going to create your, uh, your images. And... Uh, it's got one for 8.1, which that's what this had, and it also has one for Windows 10. I was real froggy about thinking about trying to do a Windows 10 on it, but it came with 8, and I don't know if the activation code would follow over to 10 or not. I didn't want to 
take the chance so I just wanted to get it back to where it was which it was at Windows 8.1 so I downloaded this image here once you download this image it's just over here in my uh, Explorer here I can go into uh, files okay so now right here I actually downloaded both the Windows 10 and the Windows 7 and I know the difference by the size the uh, Windows 8.1 was 5.6 cuz see so I got these two files I downloaded here I'll just double click this guy and now it is unzipped now all I did was is I just took my USB drive put it in my compete computer took clicked here went up highlighted them all did a copy yeah that's fine did a copy and then you go over to your USB drive USB drive there and as you can see it's just a blank USB drive that says folders empty I'm just gonna take and I'm just gonna paste them in here and then, like I said, I just highlighted them over there and just paste them all into my USB drive. And then we're going to go back over to the Surface and we're going to plug that in when we boot. And then the next time when, we, when it says, it won't even ask, it'll just know that it's got an image recovery drive or an image recovery. It's got a recovery image there and it'll just uh, go through and completely reformat it, go back to factory bone stock and you're up and running. Okay, guys, now on this, it tells you how to create the USB recovery drive after you download your deal here. And uh, basically, what it's wanting you to do is it's wanting you to use a PC of your own and enter a recovery drive, which you can at the top there, and then create it. And you really don't want to back it up. Basically, what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to create a bootable um, USB drive. Um, I was lucky the drive I actually used was already, I think I'd already installed Windows, so I just cleared it off and put it under still, it's still bootable. But, but if you're having a problem with just copying the USB drive over, go ahead and follow these instructions. What you basically want to do is just create a USB bootable drive on your USB stick and then go back and do what I did, wipe it off and then copy over the, uh, the, the image that you downloaded. And that'll get you there too, if you run into that problem. I just copied it over and didn't have a problem, but I think it might have been because I already had the drive basically staged to do this. So just in case you run into that problem, guys. As you can see, I finally got it reset in the PC. You can see it's re resetting your PC to factory reset defaults, but geez, not an easy gun, guys. I'll try to make a decent video on how you do this, but it's a... Uh, it's a lot more complicated than I wanted it to be. You know, normally you can spoof it into it, tell it to reset it, clear all files, and it'll go through it with the images got out on it on a PC or even a laptop. But this Surface has been nothing but a pain in the tail. But I do believe I finally got it. So anyway, as you can see, it's resetting your PC. We'll see if it comes up complete. Okay, this finally finishes final reboot. Let's see if we got what we want. Surface, ba 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 ba. Voila. We've got one fully opened, and I didn't even put, I created Bob as the user, and I didn't put any password at all in it. I'll let the customer decide what he wants to name the PC and uh, what else, whatever else he needs to do to it. But we have a full working Surface pad now back to factory restart. What a what a trip that was. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, it helps you get your Surface uh, Pro um, or Surface Go, I think is actually what they call the Surface Go 3, back up and running. Have a great day, guys. This is Electron Man. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, channel and give this video a thumbs up.